The Toyota GR010 Hybrid is a sports prototype racing car developed for the 2021 Le Mans Hypercar rules in the FIA World Endurance Championship. The car is the successor of the Toyota TS050 Hybrid, which competed in the WEC from 2016 to 2020, achieving two double WEC world titles and three straight victories at the 24 Hours of Le Mans from 2018 to 2020. The GR010 Hybrid was revealed online on 15 January 2021. The GR10's design is inspired by the Toyota GR Super Sport concept presented at the 2018 Tokyo Auto Salon, considered to be the GR10's road version counterpart. Its engine is a 3.5L twin turbocharged petrol V6 with a hybrid system, which uses lithium-ion batteries. It's also 250mm longer, 100 mm wider and 100 mm higher than its predecessor TS050, to bring it in line with new requirements to be a maximum 5,100 mm in length, 2,000 mm wide, and have a wheelbase of 3,150 mm. Total power output is capped at 680 bhp so the Toyota's electronics will reduce the engine's performance when the hybrid system is deployed. The development of the car lasted 19 months and took place mainly in Cologne. For the GR010 Hybrid's debut season, Toyota maintained their driver lineup unchanged from the 2019-20 FIA World Endurance Championship, with Kamui Kobayashi, Mike Conway and Jose Maria Lopez in car number 7 and Sebastien Buemi, Kazuki Nakajima, 
and Brendan Hartley in car number 8. Nick DeVries remained as test driver, with Ryo Hirakawa joining him in development duties halfway through the year. The 2021 WEC season was a complete success for Toyota and the GR010 Hybrid, with the car winning all six races of its debut season, securing pole position and fastest lap at five of them and having both cars in the podium at every race except Monza, where the number eight car had reliability issues. With the win in the first leg of the Bahrain doubleheader finale Toyota secured the Hypercar World Endurance Championship. Furthermore, at the 2021-24 Hours of Le Mans, Toyota would secure their fourth straight overall win in the event and the first for the number seven crew of Conway, Kobayashi and Lopez, who would go on to repeat as World Endurance Drivers champions at the end of the year. Now the top-class WEC and Le Mans contain balanced performance, which means that the organizers will adjust the performance of each car on a race-by-race -race basis, regulating energy usage and weight, targeting identical performance potential from each competitor. That should ensure close racing between Toyota Gazoo Racing and its hypercar competitors Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus and by Calls Racing and Alpine which will present an additional challenge with its LMP1 car.